Hello and welcome back to Stalker Pripyat. Stalker Pripyat? Stalker escape from Pripyat. No point in a medic, might as well carry his stuff along for him. Um, I can't exactly remember what it was doing, but, um, you know, it's been a couple days. Uh, but we'll do it. We'll find some quests. Also, I've been, I've been talking to some, uh, friendos that I actually did talk into playing this game. And I've been playing this game all wrong, apparently. Well, I mean, like, at least adjacently wrong. Hold on, I want to find this here stash. Where is it? Here it is. Uh, we got a rifle repair kit. Always nice. Some various goodies. Why did they increase in condition? I guess they must have been, like, slightly glitched. Um, but we got some nice parts. Actually, like, decently repaired parts. Um, shouldn't need any of those. Can we maintain? No, we're not. I'm not sure. I'm not very clear yet on, like, how to maintain, um, your parts. I think you need specific kind of cleaning kits. Which, right now, at least, I don't seem to have. Um, you know, we can't seem to use our filing kit, and we can't, uh, use any of this stuff. Oh, I guess we can't use it in this screen. That makes sense. So, yeah, we can't use that. I, I have to assume that we have to have, like, the parts available. Um, let me see here. Uh, that is the oh, bolt... No, trigger mechanism. I don't, I, you don't want to see me doing more inventory management. Um, I want to take on some quests. I, I do want to check very quickly um, my ammo situation. And, uh, you know, as is par for the course at this point, I am lacking in that 762. 762? Uh, where is it? 762.39. Um, and I'm kind of lacking in 545. But uh, that's mostly because I'm a cheapskate. I'm trying very hard to get to a position where I can reliably have more ammo. Uh, Looks like I got some 545.39. I don't know what from, but, you know, that, that works for me. That works for me. Um, do we have anything? Do we have a full magazine? This is a pretty full magazine. Well, it's a semi-full magazine. Um, we can put some more 545.39 in there. There we go. Order is more or less restored. Do you have any work for me to do? Progress handgun cleaning kit times five. Jesus. Pass on that. Can you have anything else? No. Um, I'm sure I could do that, but it just, it, it doesn't seem like a fun quest. Revenge killing. Name will rebel. Uh, faction bandit location garbage. Sure, that sounds like an okay quest. Uh, any other work you need done? No, sorry. Um, got anything for sale? You, you got some money. Uh, I wouldn't mind finding out. Well, we could try and... Every day I use for packing up an unrolled sleeping bag. I don't really want to make use of that kind of stuff. We could sell these magazines, that deck of cards. Um, yo, I'm, I'm laughing too, buddy. Let me see here. What else could we sell? We got some small bore rifle repair kits, which is not terrible. Um, okay, I guess we could just sell that for now. I, I guess I'll sell this. This might be more valuable, but I really am trying to get that money. I want that money. Uh, we'll sell the cigarettes as well. I can never really do much with those cigarettes. We're gonna need um, some more water soon enough. Because I only have two swigs of water left. Luckily right, right now we're kind of in the black in terms of our health. Um, we're at full health condition. And um, yeah, there's there's lots of really nice stuff in there. But I, I'd rather... I guess we should go to the gar garbage. There's some good stuff in garbage to do. Um, could probably accomplish a few things. Hello, cat. Cat just decided to walk on me. Sometimes he likes to do that to no benefit for himself. Like, it's not a shortcut anywhere. It's not getting him anywhere faster or, you know, more efficiently. He just likes to walk on me. That's nice, you know. Um, might be worth doing a cut here because I will probably be traveling for a little while. 
but it's a nice day out you know we got, we have a get a chance to kind of catch up oh god walking through the rads all right get that bad rads oh, oh, oh okay all right we're good Oof. this is not a great road um let me see we're good on our shotgun I don't have too many rads. We're okay there. I'll do a quick save so I don't have to do all that management again. God, more radiation, huh? Oof. That was actually not great. Oof, even even worse. All right. It's a uh, I mean, one of the things I got when I started was a really decent um head kit uh helmet cuz it's 29% radiation resistance. And that was done mostly out of fear because every version of Stalker I had played prior to this one had awful, awful radiation mechanics. I mean, like, not the mechanics themselves were not bad, but like, oh man, were they punishing. Like, you just, like, take the wrong step and then you're completely radiated. And then you just, like, you know, in the same sense that, you know, dealing with hunger and thirst in this game is kind of a problem and is kind of uh, a bummer um dealing with radiation in like some of the stalker packs is truly demoralizing like you just die if you don't have the pills on you you just straight up die um so i like this version of stalker's approach better um in that it is a bit more like you know these are these are things you have to manage um definitely you know they're like anything else they're like food water bullets they're another survival thing that you have to kind of manage okay this could be worth jumping into might be worth getting our rifle out i really wish i had some 762 because i miss having a scope I don't want to buy any, but at the same token, I don't, you know, I don't want, like, I, I want some. <laughs> Pretty sure that was a headshot. Oh, this is the farm. Okay. Is this a... Oh, this is a bandit. It scared me for a moment there because it told me for a split second there that it was a uh, free stalker. Let's go ahead and field strip this. Take some of that stuff. Still not sure why. I guess we can um, we'll disassemble this as well. Better to disassemble it, get some parts. Got some scrap. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Are you a baddie? I thought that this was the farm. Okay. Where are you? I think I got him. Oh no, he's still there. Okay, that's one down. Save. Is the farm okay? The farm generally doesn't have bandits in it. <sighs> the old, I have no idea if this is a baddie or not. So far, so good. You? Military. Isn't military bad? Mom. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure military is bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna not have any guilt about that. I I know that balaclava generally means bad, 
I really just have to get used to who is on my side and who's not. I know that generally if they have a gas mask, then they're not a good, or sorry, then they're a good guy. I think someone, like, I haven't started, like, just so you know, um, you know, in the chronology of things, I haven't started posting anything yet. Um, like, you know, I, I post the, the first actual recorded episode tomorrow. So if you're annoyed that I haven't, like, taken any of your advice that you've maybe left in the comments uh, seriously at all, it's because I haven't seen them yet. Okay, we, ooh, we got some nice stuff here and actually decent parts as well. Um, we got an actual grenade magazine. Um, these are, okay, That this is like kind of a hunk of junk. But that's okay. We're we're at, we're at my storage. I'm pretty sure. Might be wrong about that. But um, we might. If we're not at my storage, we're pretty close to my storage. Why? Okay, my my cursor is going crazy. Hold on a second. My cursor is not okay. Um, we haven't field stripped. Okay. I really, really hate this mechanic. I don't know how to deal with this. It's, it's honestly, it, it's the closest thing to ruining this pack as possible. Like I'm gonna die now because of this stupid helicopter. Oh man, I hate that. Because I killed one military dude. That doesn't make sense by the way. If there's only the one military dude, who's calling in air support? Just, just saying. Uh, just saying, if there's only the one military dude, no one's around to, to call for air support because he was the only one there. Uh, it's really, that's really frustrating. Look, give me, give me a second. Okay, there's anomalies there that there, there weren't before, and it's also raining. If we look at the zone, helicopter sounds zero, helicopter patrols none. Reset goodwill with hostile factions. When a faction becomes an enemy of the player's faction, the player will lose all goodwill earned. Nah, whatever. Uh, dynamic anomalies. When enabled, emissions can create new anomalies around the zone. Interesting. Exclusion zone radius. Smart terrains only. Offline combat. Is there online combat? Uh, this option... Adds the dynamic aspects of the A-Life simulation by allowing squads in distant parts of the zone to fight against their enemies. What is the uh, alternative? Full or off? Well, anyway, events. Um, oh, these are emissions and size storms. That's fine. Warf warfare, all out war, random starting locations, random starting character. I just want to see, is there any place here where we can set, like, don't, just turn the helicopter off forever. Zombie acts as a fashion, sorry, not fashion, faction. Uh, purge zone percentage. Oh, hold on, here we go, military. Um, ignore empty targets, random spawn, entry is night activity keep. There's gotta be something here. There's gotta be an option. Patrol hunt chance. Random patrols, base priority, resource priority, base count, level, uh, come on. There's seriously nothing. I, I see nothing in regards to the helicopter. Max invasion to part time, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of options here, obviously, but I don't know what a lot of it means zombified duty these are these are all the factions um dynamic news threats uh i'm not i promise i'm not going to do this for very long um it doesn't seem like there's anything i don't know other progression disguise fast travel i, didn't, I can turn this off allow during combat fast travel state disabled Visited only. Okay, I could turn this on if I wanted to. What's back tra backpack travel? With few restrictions, you can fast travel to stashes you create around the zone by clicking on them on the PDA map. 
Okay, um, I'm kind of tempted to turn fast travel on at least to visited. And um, I'll, t I'll leave all of this off for now. But I might do this occasionally because it really is a little bit... Um, I don't know, just for the sake of making content, it's, it's, it's a little bit much to have to walk everywhere. But I don't know, then we end up in interesting situations like this. Not interesting with a helicopter, mind you. The helicopter is the least interesting thing I can imagine. Oh god. Okay, I know that helicopter is on its way. I'm just going to take everything. Cool, he had a lot less stuff this time. Unless it was this guy I was looking at before. It was this guy. Okay, we're going to go inside here and we're going to hide from the helicopter until it disappears. And maybe we'll just do our field strip stuff. I'm, I'm going to do a, a quick pause here because you don't need to see me do all that again. All right. I've done most of the inventory management that I need to do. Uh, oh, except I did forgot to put our bullet stuff in there. I'll put some of this other stuff in there as well, like uh, the stuff I'm going to disassemble later. We don't really need any of that. And I'll put the grenades in that stuff. Okay, we're good. Um, I've, I've put our first artifact on my belt. This offers plus 8% chemical resistance. I am hoping that this will mean that we can maybe uh, eat uh, mutant meat without uh, puking, basically. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know. I don't hold out too much hope in that. Um, we've, got, we've now got a full set of all of the tools we need, but I'm not going to need them right now. We're going to head over to the cordon and... Um, Sorry, not the cordon, the garbage. And uh, see if we can't accomplish a few things, kill a few bandits, and uh, make a bit of money on the way. Do we have our flesh hide, I think? Yeah, that's uh, one quest I can actually accomplish in the garbage. But yeah, we're... Oh, oh. So it, it looked kind of like a uh, an anomaly. You know what I really need in this storm? A campfire, a guitar to play next to, and a bottle of vodka. What are you doing on the on the bandit side, my dude? Ow! Jesus. Oh my god, I died to cats. My god. Uh, I really didn't see that coming, actually. Okay, let's uh, take two on that. You know, part it's it's honestly part of the problem with a, a storm is like it's, it makes it harder to hear things sneaking up on you. Not that the cats are all that subtle, but also it's one of the problems of making like content or like recording, having you know drumming up any kind of narration because it means you can't really hear too good. Ow! Again. Ah, oh, he snuck up on me again. Ow! Jesus. Um, I don't have these on my quick tab, and I really should. I know there's one more. Where are you? You mangy. Where are you, bud? Huh. Maybe there's only two. Died to two cats. That's the worst. Um, this is actually good news because there's another quest we need to, we need cat claws for. I hate that picture of the cat when I loot the, the cat because it's actually uh, like kind of cute. The picture in the top is like, I mean, that, you know, I don't know. 
Listen, people, I've been questioned before. It's like, why, why do people care about killing animals in games, but not people? I mean, if you don't get it, you don't get it. <laughs> That's all I'll say. If you don't get it, then, and you don't want it, you know, uh, it's fine. But there is a, there is actually a logic there. Um, I, I guess speaking for my own self, when it comes to um, appreciating appreciating animals more than NPCs, I don't really like humanize. Like I don't, I don't uh, empathize so much with NPCs in a game. Um, but because animals in general are so simple, like, I, I, I can only associate them with the animals I've, uh, you know, socialized with in real life. There is, like, a more of an instantaneous connection there. It's like, oh, there's cat. I know cat. I like cat. Whereas when you see a person, you know, it's, it's a bit more of a mixed bag, you know, could be, could be good, could be bad. Half the half the people in this game have tried to rob me blind and kill me dead, so I'm not I'm not so much in an empathizing mood. I have to say. Or is the cat, you know, a bit bit I I don't know. I guess they did just try and kill me, didn't they? I don't know. I can't explain it so much. I think um part part of it is um you know in real life when people have a cat it's it's um kind of like i i don't know how to put it, it, it you're you're kind of it, um it brings out the kind of um parental side of you in a weird way you know like this this is a small thing that i must protect you know um like this is a thing i i you know i like it and i want to you know make sure it's okay uh, and like speaking for myself on a very like rooted sense of logic um when i when i think about you know cats or dogs or anything like that it's like well you know they're they're not really smart enough to know you know what's going on like you know if, cats for the most part like if there's something wrong with them if they're they've got a problem going on they don't know what's going on all they know is feel bad you know I guess I, I, I uh, empathize more with a sort of base reaction of like feel bad, want you know want the bad to go away, and then and like you when you think about I don't know animals in these kind of situations, it's a little bit weird because they are you know they don't know what's going on even more so now. So I'm in a not good situation. I can't seem to, I, I guess my endurance is completely tanked. I'm going to take another one of these. How's our radiation doing? I can't really explain it because most of it is a, a very primate brain thing. You know, like it's, it's not, uh, a lot of it's not really based on logic. It's based on emotion. You can't really like explain why you care about one thing and don't care about another thing because it's sort of like explaining like a phobia you know why are you scared of the you know that thing it's just a spider like whatever it doesn't matter it won't hurt you i forgot how not friendly this entrance is I am kind of hoping that's the only guy there, but I already hear someone else. Stop, stop reloading. Oh my god. I hear him. Okay, I think that's everyone. thirsty
I already saved. So uh, I'll just like grab some stuff. We'll grab all this stuff. Yes, I will disassemble. I just I want the junk. You know, once we know how to craft some stuff, it's going to be very good. It's going to be very useful to have all that stuff, you know. Carbiner. Actually, I did find out, I think if you disassemble it, you get all the parts anyway. Yeah, I, I've been doing things the long way around. You don't need to field strip and then disassemble. You can just disassemble if you don't want. Oh no, the game just crashed. Oh God. All right, see you soon. All right, just so you know, it takes quite a long time to load back into this game once it's crashed. So you're, you're welcome for saving you a little bit of time there. Shotgun repair kit. I'm pretty sure that wasn't there last time. So uh, honestly, grateful. That's a, uh, <clears throat> you know, nice, nice little boon for uh, reloading the game. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and disassemble this. Grab everything. I'm going to be grabbing everything here because we're going to be selling stuff. Please don't crash. Jesus. I'm not sure why the game is crashing right now. I actually, I, I did, like, I have a... Okay, oh, hold on. I, have, I do have one thing running that I don't have to have running, so I'll shut that down. And then hopefully that'll buy me the extra kilobyte of RAM. That's the logic I use. It, it's not good logic, but I do use it. What is this? Don't we have an SVT? Wasn't I, like, trying very hard to uh, get the parts to make an SVT worthwhile. I wonder if I gave up on that. That would be a shame because I just found one. Oh, we don't want, actually, we, we do not want this uh, suit. We want to disassemble that suit for sure. Grab the rest of the parts. There's a really nice part in there at like full capacity, so that's nice. We'll save, because apparently I'm uh, up against the clock now. Got a Russian Ouija board. It's probably a tasteless joke. Oh, this will be a minute. I'll, I'll do a pause here. All right. Here we are in the core, uh, the cordon. I keep saying the cordon. I meant, mean the garage. We're in the garage and there's a lot of stuff to do here. We've got a stash here in this kind of swampy bad area. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that area, but it will be worth it. These stashes are generally worthwhile. Um, how's our capacity doing? We're actually t totally fine. We have 20, 20 pounds left. Or 20 pounds. 20 kilograms. Kilogram is almost... Not, not quite 2 pounds. It's a lot of stuff over there. I wonder if those are bad things. Uh, I, I obviously know they're bad. I'm wondering if they're like enemies that I have to shoot. Sometimes that is the case. I'm a little bit concerned about these. I've never seen this type of anomaly before, I have to say. They kind of remind me of the poltergeist. The poltergeist you had to actually shoot. I'm wondering if there might be an anomaly around here. Or not anomaly, sorry, artifact. I think they're just the, the, just the big bad, you know? They're just very ra radioactive. Yeah, I mean, this zone generally sucks. I do, uh, oh, what was that? I did notice that there were options regarding like dynamic anomalies, meaning like anomalies can come and go. Uh, and some zones will have like, you know, sometimes they'll have one kind of anomaly and sometimes they'll have a different kind of anomaly. Um, so I think our stash is in this direction, which sucks for us because this place is not great. Of 
Unfortunately, these things don't seem like maliciously motivated. Is that, is that anything for us? No. Um, th like, I know that sounds weird, but when I saw the poltergeists, I was like, oh, that's just another anomaly. You know, it's just whatever. An alien environmental effect. Not Nothing to worry about as long as I stay away from it. Not the case at all. Poltergeist uh, looks like an anomaly, but what was that? That sounded like something. It was very much uh, a bad thing. Okay. I think that was a some maybe a zombie getting sucked up into an anomaly. After coming in contact with that, um, that night terror, I, I have a, you know, what's the opposite on a lease on life, new lease on life, less, uh, less a lease. Oh God, the uh, snorks and my gun jammed. Why does my gun have to jam? That is my warning sign to let me know that an emission is coming. So I am in a very bad place right now. I just want to get my stash and go. Got it. Let's get out of here. Radiation here is already bad. Um, we're going to take some anti-rads, I think. Oh God, no, 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 no. Oh, my ra my rads are not good right now. Um, let's, let's take some more meds. I'm probably going to have to load, uh, to be honest. <sighs> okay. Let's don't panic. I know I, we know when a mission is coming. It's fine. Just drink some water. You know, focus on getting your rads down. Um, we don't have any food. That's fine. We'll just get out of here. Work on work on survival. You know, work on the, the basics. Food, water, and bullets. You know, that's, that's the name of the game here. Am I overweight? Like, uh, what, what is happening? I guess I'm hungry and therefore my my re um oh you know what i just realized that's water oh but it's very bad water would really like to make use of that water i really need, could use some extra water oh man this sucks how's our how's our radiation not great we have, um, these are psychic resistance. Maybe if this is a size storm, we could buy ourselves a little bit of time. The zone consumed you. Okay. I don't know what killed me there. I thought I was doing okay. Damn. Okay. Be right back. So the problem is, is I don't know where I am at this point. I'm pretty sure this is before I got sucked into an uh, anomaly and before I got hit by a, a snork. I'm very worried about that snork, honestly. What a terrible place to put a stash. I'm sorry, but someone needs to get have a chat chatting to. I 
I think I just got radiated to death. I think that that's what happened. Also. Just wanted to make sure my gun wasn't jammed. Having your gun jam right as you're being attacked. One of the worst things that can happen to you. Oh yeah, we'll drink some water. Keep a better eye on my, uh, my health this time. There's probably better places to get water. Unfortunately, one of the best places to get water is at the swamp. But I don't want to have to keep going back to the swamp. I guess if I had fast travel, it wouldn't be so bad. The problem with fast travel that I am I'm now considering is that just because it's fast travel doesn't mean it doesn't wear on your resources. So probably you would still need, like, after you come out of the fast travel, you're going to be hungry, you're going to be thirsty. So... Yo, I just realized... Is that a night terror? Corpse? I don't think so. I think it's, uh... It looks like it's a bunch of flesh corpse. Some nice stuff. Nothing useful here. Okay, well, that place sucks. That place is the bad. All right, we got to get out of here. My health is not doing great. This is Molten Lada Anomaly. This is Witch's Jelly Anomaly. We got to get all the way over there. Go north. There's really not too many safe places in this area. I'm hearing some gunshots. I mean, I know the irony in saying that, you know, in the zone. Every time I see say the zone, this is a purely Canadian thing, but like every time I say the zone, I think of a channel called YTV. When I was a kid, there's it was uh, called the zone. Okay, we got some Zams, Zambos, Zimzams. They don't like to be called that. They're not a huge fan of Zimzams. All I'm saying is they're alive selves Zimmed when they should have Zammed. And that's why they're now shuffling when they should be, uh, I don't know, stalking. You could have been stalking, my lad. Instead, you're shuffling. That is unfortunate. We got some fleshos over there. I got I to I don't know. These, this naming convention is not good, I'll admit. Definitely, we gotta keep an eye on our health. How's our radiation doing? Oh, not good. We definitely could use um, some medical assistance. How's our this thing bracelet? Seems okay. There seems to be something going on over there. Something odd and unexplainable. I wonder if these things are susceptible to anomalies. I can't tell if that thing's alive or not. I think it's a I think it's dead. Okay, that is It really does look alive. It's like it, it died in exactly the perfect, like, alive position. <laughs> that flesh just got yeeted by an anomaly. Oof. And then jibbed. I had a discussion with my, with my chat during the stream. Is it jibbed or gibbed? Feel free to argue about that in the comments. Go ahead and, and uh, set my algorithm on fire. I heard shotgun in the gar garbage west of the depot. 
I'm I'm kind of hoping that I, I heard gunshots and I'm hoping that this place is not taken over by bandits Or worse yet like a chimera or something I like the, the little detail that the rain pokes through the roof That's a really nice touch Definitely one of the biggest reasons to enjoy or play Stalker is the environments. You know, environmental design and also just like, especially with this pack, um, some of the, the, the touches of like post-processing and, you know, care and detail is, is really nice. All right, friend, job is done. 7,000, nice. Cat claw times seven and another job is done. 1400 that that is not really that great but whatever um location in the garbage west of the swamp sure i'll do that get that job done is there any other work you want done you want some chim chimera claws forget it side dog fur never mind mutated crow beak nah blood sucker jaw pass um my, my health is not good right now Truly, it is bad. What is this? Hides recipe. A worn out looking chip contains many notes regarding mutant hide interactions and the anomalies found in the zone. Um, recipes have been written and collected by many stalkers. I have to make sure I'm not going to die before I continue this conversation, though it is thrilling. I, I am worried. I think it's, um, I'm like very radiated. What I should have done is drank some of this vodka. Because that, that gets rid of radiation good fast. Don't, don't ask me why. Or how. Um, we should probably buy some food. I'm getting very close to being able to afford the uh, gunsmithing tools. I know I, I, I will refuse to shut up about it. Oh, we have some flesh meat. Nice. Um, let's sell some of the other stuff. He will actually give us a pretty good price on uh, mutant stuff. This is This is the guy that cares about mutant stuff. Fletchets. I could buy some Fletchets. Um, all right, we're good for now. I want to go make some food. How's our, our radiation doing? Okay, I think. Hard to tell sometimes, you know. I I really need to find a source of water, and then we can, uh, you know, actually sort out our, our water situation I'm down to my last dram you know that's a problem is there no campfire down here oh there's usually a campfire in these locations oh hello got anything no not really is there any work you want done basic sewing kit times four uh, I'm sure I could actually do that, but yeah, nah. Uh, I think I have a means of cooking without um, a fire. I think we can use the army kettle. I don't know if I have anything else. So let's let's use the army kettle. And we can make some fat bacon if we want. Apparently this uses vodka. If we use that, then is this the stuff that is not toxic? Yeah, that's really good. We can make stewed fat bacon or <clears throat> purified fat bacon. I guess that's actually really nice. Keeping vodka on us means we can actually purify the mutant meat and um, it's no longer toxic, which is just, you know, fantastic. So um, I'm learning more and more about how to survive in, in the wastes. And I, I knew that vodka had its use, but definitely knowing that uh, food becomes a lot less of, a, of an issue when you can make food that doesn't actually poison you. I do wish I could a, a batch make some food though. That would be kind of nice. 
I wonder how expensive vodka is. Like, I wonder if buying it would be cheaper than, for instance, buying um, toxic pills. I'm also wondering, I know that this kettle only has so many uses in it. Uses 22. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good. Like, we're only using it because we don't have a fire right now. Actually, that's not true. Because the thing is, is the kettle is giving, a, allowing us to use the vodka. Like, it's allowing us to actually cook the food properly. So it might be that you want to buy a kettle and use it even if you uh, have access to a fire. So I might want to buy some water. Oh, we have a lot of junk we should get rid of. I This is one of those situations I find myself in where it's like, yeah, um, but like, who wants to buy your junk? No one, uh, no one north of the, the farm wants to buy your crap. And uh, you're just kind of stuck with it for a while. It's a good thing we have very good um, carrying capacity. Is this a uh, 556 any good? It is not. So let's go ahead and disassemble all of this. I'll do a quick pause here because I'm going to be doing a little bit of in inventory management. Okay, I was doing inventory management, but apparently we're being raided. So we'll have to deal with this for a bit. Who is firing on us? There's supposed to be a Psy storm pretty soon, so it might be that they're trying to get to safety. They do tend to attack, you know, when there's a storm of some kind. I think maybe it's done. I wasn't quite done. I want to do a couple more things. Um, I guess I'll... I guess I'll eat some food, um, and I'll drink what little water I have. Or under fire. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just go to sleep for a little bit. Can't sleep with my ass glowing. Right, we're still radioactive. Um, I guess I'll drink some more vodka. And I'll see if we can't shed this radiation. There we go. And uh, we'll sleep through the Psy Storm. And uh, I'll be hungry, but at least I'll have some better health. Looking for an experienced doctor who can lead me to Corden right now. I'm in the garbage south of the Rostock checkpoint. Name's Timur Child. Oh, cool. Someone killed my mutant. I love when that happens. So we are going to have to buy some water, unfortunately. I hate that, but you know, it is what it is. At least we have food now for a little bit, for the time being. We'll have to eat two of these, but we still have food left over. I wonder if he, um, this guy sells, a, like, a, a thing of water, not just, like, the purified stuff. Do you sell a water tank? Or just the one water? The gas lamp? Mm, no, okay, what is this? Promag Archangel Polymer Stock for Remington. 30,000. 30,000 for a stock. Is kind of wild. Wow, you want 5,000 rubles for mutant meat, huh? Okay, well, um, let's buy some water. That has three uses. That's not bad. I should, uh, I should stop worrying about it too much. I'll have to take another swig. Oh, wait a minute. You, uh, yeah, you had a quest for me to hand in. The job is done. 8,000. Nice. We're getting really close to them, to them gunsmithing tools. I, I will not... Refuse to shut up about it. Okay. We have a stash north. We've got, um, I don't know, something northeast. We'll go check out that, um, oh, that, that was a fireplace. I could use that fireplace. Damn. I'll do a quick save. This pulsing looks like a bracelet. 
The bracelet is what I'm currently wearing, I think. Yeah. Bracelets are pretty decent. I'm sure they sell for a nice chunk. I could probably sell them. Oh god, I don't want to be radiated again. I did that. It's not fun. Okay, I do want to get that stash. These are these are always worth it. They're always great. I think some of these are actually quests as well. Like I got some quests to go pick up these stash. Don't know what they're shooting at. Somewhat concerning. Push pull anomaly. We've got clear sky leather jacket. Not that worthwhile. We'll just go ahead and disassemble that right now. And we've got a bunch of stuff. Ooh, and an ammunition guide. That's actually really good. Let's see what this might be shotgun. Five, uh, seven, sixty-two, thirty-nine. Amazing. Okay, so we should be able to make, um, we can make this now. And we can make shotgun. We can make dragon's breath. But only if we make, get thermal artifact fragments. I mean, that's going to be a, a hard, hard one for sure. But we should be able to make, um, seven, sixty-two, thirty-nine. And we only need small rifle. Uh, oh, I see. We need some propellant small rifle. Small caliber rifle bullets, armor piercing, and an incendiary powder. I think we need all all of these. But anyway, um, that's we we actually really needed that. That's why I say these stashes are highly worthwhile. Uh, but we did need that for getting the recipes to make bullets. I'm I'm very excited to be able to make. Oh God. Did he just run off? Is he coming back? Seems he is not coming back. I don't really mess around with the fleshes because they take a lot of bullets. We do need some better weaponry if I'm I, if I am to take on some of the harsher um, hazards of of the zone. Don't know what we're trying to accomplish right now. I think there is... I mean, we can go to this area, but I don't know what benefits us there. Oh, God. Okay, that was the rest of our bullets. I was really hoping he wasn't going to come back. But honestly, I mean, getting a little bit of extra food, that's not bad. We don't have any more vodka, though. I could check out the flea market. Um, oh, am I out of uh, health kits? Oh, no. Out of health kits. I used them all up. I really blew through those, didn't I? Okay, well, we'll have to play things safe. That sounded like a baddie. Oh, over there. Um, I should, let's see if I can't do this one. No, not five, six, sorry, five, one. Oh, no, that's F1, sorry. Damn. Um, five, there we go. I, I have a, a scope I can use. Now, of course, he's, like, just out of sight. Cannot tell if that's a bad guy. Of course I can't. I never can, can I? Well, he's out of sight, and we're near the flea market now, so we're okay. Yeah, I, I didn't realize you can actually use scopes as binoculars, which is really cool. Might honestly be worth knocking off the uh, PU scope off my old SKS and using it because it was a decent little scope. Is there anything you want done? Controller brain tissue. Never mind. 
No. Okay. Um, all right. So what do you have? Any work you want done? Location in the garbage east of the Rostock checkpoint. R search and rescue. My friend was mugged and taken hostage by some bandits. I really don't know what I should do. Sure, I can do that. Maybe. Is there any uh, work you want done? Do you have anything for sell? No. Um, just finding someone who would buy some of my stuff would be worthwhile. Um, I'm looking for work. Local traders don't have anything for you. Maybe try the regular guys. Most of them need help with one thing or another. Any work you want done? Bandit faction patches. I can do that. Pretty sure I can hand that in now. Beacon item. Or just a... Yeah, a beacon? Okay. I'm looking for an escort squad. Interested? Sorry, we have other jobs already. I was curious about that. Um, all right. What have you got? You've got some med kits. Uh, you also have a gunsmithing tools. Oh, they're not, they're actually not that expensive here. I can buy them. Like I, I've, I've overshot the price. I sure hope that I don't end up finding those for free. I mean, obviously they're worth like getting now, but, um, yeah. Russian tobacco. This is apparently negative radiation. I don't know how that is possible. Wouldn't mind getting some more vodka. Definitely we could use some more water. When did I get this artifact? Oh, that's that's the beacon. Weight carried plus 6,000 grams? Weird. I might want to keep that just to see if I can't um, do something better with it. Here's a headlamp. Definitely do want a headlamp, but um, I, don't, I can't afford that right now. Sparkling water. Imported. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice water. You'll like it. Wonderful water. Um, There's a lot of really cool stuff here that I cannot afford. Suit utility upgrade kit. I wouldn't mind getting it. I wonder if he has a helmet upgrade kit. Environmental protection kit, basic. Suit utility upgrade kit, basic. Suit armor upgrade kit, fine tuning. I, I don't quite under know how a lot of this works. I do know that you need um, certain upgrade, like you need to do certain upgrades before you can do other upgrades, but who knows like, you know, what and when. Suit utility. This does outfit upgrade kit used at workshops for installing upgrades. Well, I knew that. Um, suit utility upgrade kit advanced. See what I think what I need is a basic one. I think these are basic. Environmental protection upgrade kit basic. Utility basic. Well, let's... Let's do a bit of experimentation. We'll buy both of those. See if we can't upgrade our, our suit. Our suit's really nice. It's doing doing good work for us. We might actually want to um, repair it. Do I, have, I don't have any money left, do I? I think I have a, re a repair suit, a repair kit back at my farm. Back at the farm. But uh, not right now. Oh, we do have some glue tube. We could do a little bit of um, basic maintenance. I wonder if he has anything like that. No, doesn't seem like it. Okay, well, that is that. We finally have ourselves a gunsmithing toolkit. We should be able to use that now. So you can actually do it. You can use it on the spot. Safety guide to ammunition. So what? Uh, ammo. Here we go. So these are all the things we can craft right now. These are at least the things that we have knowledge to craft. You can't... Just because you know how to craft them doesn't mean you have the parts. So these are the parts that we have. Um, and it looks like you, you do need to have, like, enough before you can make even one chunk of ammo. You have to make it chunk by chunk, unfortunately. Is this any cheaper? 
Uh, looks like they're about the same. But yeah, we can also, this is actually a good way of checking like what other stuff we can make. Like for instance, we might be able to make a headlamp. We need a, a basic headlamp. Oh, I see. This is, um, this was a headlamp with night vision. What we need is a basic uh, headlamp first. To make that, we need two broken flashlights, a box of resistors, four of them, four pack of capacitors, and four copper wire. Um, so, you know, good to know. Like, we can, we actually have quite a lot of these. We might even have everything we need back at the farm. Um, this is our bear uh, detector. We can actually use our echo detector to craft that. And we'll need a bunch of parts. Just a, just a lot of parts. What the heck is this, though? Headlamp with Oracle Psi Stimulator. <laughs> Jesus. So we don't know how to make those. We're going to need something else before we can uh, craft those. Guide books and recipes have enough information regarding items. They will come in handy for learning more about those items. Um, so, you know, like, we're, we're, we're learning, though. We're learning some important stuff. Like, for instance, we can make a multi-tool if given we have the recipe. We could make binoculars, maybe. Oh, those are what those welding goggles are for. Um, it might be that we have to craft parts to craft other parts. You know? It is it is kind of like one of the, those kind of games. Like, uh, maybe when, when we can learn how to make upgrade parts, we can just upgrade all of our stuff. We definitely will want to get a uh, drug making kit. That is, like, probably the next step. We can apparently make armor components. Like, this game... Uh, this is one thing I, like, I really appreciate about this game, is that um, you can, you know... Like, you can obviously buy stuff, and it is it's it is pretty satisfying buying what you need. Like, getting enough money from quests to buy what you need. Sure. But I also just really enjoy um, learning how to make it yourself. Like, once I learned how to make food, that was kind of a game changer. I'm gonna disassemble this Sunrise Stalker suit. Um, once I learned how to boil water, that was kind of a game changer. Like, everything, everything, uh, kind of builds into other things. All of the layering mechanics in this game actually, like, you know, they lead to something. You can, you can make use of all of them. And, um, you know, they, they add to the game experience and they don't just, like, get in your way. Also, I do find that the crafting in this game is actually pretty intuitive. Like, it, it really isn't all that bad. You need the recipes and you need the toolkit. And that's really it. Like, there really isn't much more to it than that. This guy's got some crazy armor. Is there any work you need done? Snork legs. I actually have one. No, I don't have a snork leg. That was in an alternate universe. Um, do you have anything to sell? No, you don't. Wow, how can you be in a suit like that and be poor, is all I'm saying. So, um, what I'd like to do... First of all, we could do that search and rescue, but we're, we're kind of at the... I guess we will do the search and rescue, but we're at the end tail end of our of our episode here I might head over there because I, I don't want to That was stupid of me. I don't want to like leave that hanging I would like to actually get that done because I don't know if that might be one of those time oriented ones Like you might have to do it in a certain amount of time um, Don't know Do we have any ammo? We do have some ammo that we can jam in this. That's good. I actually have a good chunk of 545. That's another thing. We could maybe consider making some 545. Oh, I did buy the vodka. Good. So we can we can make... Let's make uh, some more of this good stuff. Oh, I don't... I can't use the vodka I bought. I thought I bought vodka. Yeah, this stuff. Putinka vodka. Can I not use that? Hmm... Oh, we need... Uh, I guess this is the wrong kind of meat. What? Oh, wrong kind of vodka. I see. We need Nemirov vodka. Very picky uh, that recipe is. Okay, well, that's fine. We can still uh, make some food. And I, I have that bracelet artifact. So if it's like worth anything at all, it should protect us. Should we make, um, you know, the bad... The bad food, or eat the bad food. Brewed coffee. 
We should get some coffee. I bet it's it's nice. I wish we had some like I know I keep saying this. I I wish we had some 762. It's just kind of a bummer. Being able to scope in, and it makes life so much easier. Like, killing, shoot, getting a headshot from a distance is just, you know, chef's kiss. Compared to having to get in there, getting your hands dirty, getting shot at. What have we got here? This doesn't look like anything I recognize. What in the world is this? Lurker. We've got lurkers. Do not like that. That looks horrible. Not really looking forward to encountering, um, you know, some of the more advanced creatures. Okay, so here's our, our baddies. I'm going to try and sneak up on them if I can. Wouldn't mind getting this lurker meat. I'm going to do a quick save here and see if I can't get this without det getting detected. No? Okay. Now, I am pretty sure that that is a bad guy. An astonishing that... I'm not being shot at right now. Was there only the one guy? Seems to be the case. Totally okay with this, if that was the case. Have a quick look at him. He's got some stuff. Hey buddy, you're the dude I have to rescue. How are you doing? Follow me. Um, all right. Come with me. Come with me, etc., etc. If you want to live, you know, it's fine. Might have one more quick look to see if I can't chop this up. Looks like no. What a shame. A lot of gunshots in that direction. I'm not excited about that. We've got a bandit here. And more food. That's honestly the thing that excites me more than anything is like food at this point. Really did not mean to take that. Go ahead and disassemble that. My dude, do not stray far. Do not stray from the path. It looks to me like what happened here is these lurkers took out uh, a, a bunch of the bandits and uh, the bandits took out the lurkers. That is like the best case scenario. I love that. I love those little emergent stories and just like there's enough environmental storytelling here to really give us. Also, I just realized I looted some lurker parts off of one of those bandits. So that's why that lurker wasn't uh, salvageable. It's because it was already salvaged. So, it's, okay, we got the full picture there. So the bandits <laughs> took a hostage. Then they got attacked by lurkers. Amazingly, the hostage didn't die. But they managed to fend themselves off. Killed the lurker. Only one bandit left. And, uh... I don't know. I guess apparently one of the bandits that got killed, like... They they chopped up one of the lurkers before they got hit by the other one. That's a little bit of an interesting twist. Because why did I... Maybe they just, like, got hit really hard and, uh, you know, their AI, you know, they, they, they chopped up the one lurker before they bled out. That makes more sense to me than they got, like, hit by one lurker. Then they chopped up the one lurker that they managed to kill and then they got hit by another one. So, 
But yeah, anyway. We managed to uh, accomplish your goal. That guy, that looks like a baddie, if I'm being honest. But I don't think it is. I don't think they would be this close and be a bad guy. It just goes to show, like, I really don't know who's good or bad in this game. I need to get, like, an image uh, for my, my other monitor to just, like, compare. Like, this guy's wearing a balaclava. He should be a bandit, right? But he's not. He's a free stalker. Job is done. Search and rescue, 8,000 received. Russian combat ration. Ooh, and Nemirov vodka. Yay, thank you, bud. Received new stash coordinates. Fantastic. Have any other work to be done? I'm looking for an escort squad. Interested? All right. I am interested in having people like help me out because apparently the AI on these guys are better than in other stalker games. Um, it's what I've heard anyway. I kind of want to cook up that food real quick and then we'll call it. Um, so we got that lurker meat, moderate thirstiness, increment slight sleepiness reduction. And then we've got, uh, this one will be slightly toxic, but let's go ahead and make the good stuff with the Putinka vodka. I thought I needed the Nemirov. So apparently the, the lurker meat wants Patinka and then what the, uh, the flesh meat, they, it, it wants the Nemirov in order to be like purified. Very strange. But anyway, um, I'm really enjoying this game. Like, I, I, it's, you know, very satisfying overcoming some of the basic survival stuff. Um, I tend to have a very bad experience with survival games in general, but this one, it really makes it worthwhile. Like, um, you know, feeding yourself, it, it doesn't, it, it is definitely a challenge you have to overcome, but you can overcome it. And then it, it becomes a lot more like a, like a thin layer and a bit more of an immersive experience. I, I, f I find that like feeding and watering characters in survival games to be really all that there is going on and I, I never tend to really enjoy it I wonder if I could attach this to my belt like if I take this off I could attach it to my belt and now I've suddenly got a lot more capacity but this makes us hungrier so I don't know might be worth using for a little bit I think what I'd like to do is I, I want to do our first fast travel just to see how it works. Um, oh, we've got a new stash there. So let's uh, fast travel back to the farm. No. Northern farm. I, I would like to fast travel there, actually. Oh, there we go. Right click. What to drop now? What? Oh, I guess maybe you can't do it when you're over encumbered, which makes sense. Oh, shoot. Ouch. We're being shot at by someone. to get some good stuff from this but it, I, I was hoping to end the episode pretty soon nice you have unspent trade points oh fantastic I love that for me honestly um, I should do that on... I don't know if I've done... Spent any trait points on camera. I think I have. But, anyway. So we've got zombie hand. Very good stuff. Um, oh, this was a free stalker. What are you guys doing attacking the flea market? That seemed very silly. Maybe, uh, maybe that guy wasn't attacking them. Oh, mercenary. 
Oh my god. My dude. My dude, I don't I don't have space for all of this stuff. Okay, or or definitely a good thing I have this thing equipped, the beacon. All right, you know what? Let's end the episode here and I'm going to have to do a bunch of uh inventory management in between episodes but um if you are enjoying this episode uh, this series um definitely hit that like button and uh consider subscribing for more content like this wait a minute what to print i i thought i was holding it i am holding it consuming of tools the procedure can be carried out i thought i was maybe i've run out of tools no i haven't I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, if you enjoyed this, hit all the buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.